we hear it all the time, eat more greens. So how can we incorporate these leafy vegetables into our lives? Well, I am so excited because today we have a James Beard award-winning chef in our kitchen who's going to show us creative recipe ideas that will make us think way beyond the salad. Joining me from B&W, a great chef is celebrity chef Ming Tsai. Hola, Olga. Hola, thank you for Good being here. Good. Thank you. I love salads. I'm a salad girl, but yep. sometimes they're they're just blah, you know? And I'm Cuban, I like salsa, I like spicy, I like I like it to be fun, yeah. not boring. So you, you would love this. So our, our newest blend's called the Power Four. It's red kale, arugula, watercress, and spinach, all baby. Mm. And the reason it's so good, you said it, it has flavor. A lot of mesclans are so bland. I know. And once they sit in your fridge, within a day or two, they just they will. They're yes. gone, right? So this will last for the longest time in your fridge. I've never thrown a bag away for one. And because of the spice of the watercress and the arugula, it gives it some oomph to it. Right? Zing. Yeah, it, it's what just what you want. I mean, look, everything in the world costs money now. So when you buy something, you want to make sure it's high quality, delicious, and if it's good for you too, well, that's the bonus. You know what I noticed, um, Ming, is that when people see these kind of leaves, they kind of yep. think it's just for garnish, but it's not. Oh no. Why? This and this is straight water. Cause here, try this. This is a this is a pineapple watercress smoothie with some bananas to start your day off right. This is what you mm. you you drink this. You'll be like boom. Superhuman. Fantastic. Right? It's so easy. So that's how you can start your day. This is how you can end your day. No. All right? <laughs> After this a long actually, day. This actually is, is a gin cocktail. I'm just going to put a little bit of gin just for flavor, okay? It's for two people, so it's very light in alcohol. Okay. This is a watercress syrup that we made, which is watercress and simple syrup. Who would have thought? A little bit of lemon juice and then a couple dashes of bitters. That's it. And this will give you the most delicious, actually healthy cocktail. We got to hear the noise. All right, just nice and slow like okay, that. Okay, that got me going. A little bit. I'm just going to give you just a touch, but look at that great green color you get. I can't believe this. All right? And no one ever thinks about okay. using watercress to make a cocktail. I certainly am not going to drink chin without chin. toasting. Ching ching. Ay, que rico. Fantastic. Right? This is real. Oh, not my bad, gosh. Right? Right, I'm not here. putting it down. All right, so soup. Great way to make watercress soup. This is a reduced chicken stock that has garlic. Um, and onions in it, all right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna pour a little bit in this in this blender, all right? And you wanna be careful with hot liquid. Open it up like that, so when it when it goes on, you want the steam to be able to skip. Exactly, that's right? a good idea. Now, what I can do is then you just add watercress to this. It's so easy. That's Watch it? it? This is the soup. So then we take watercress right out of the bag, and I love how it comes. You see how, see how dry this is? This is just good enough to eat when you get right? it. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Right? So we put watercress in the bag like this. This is so fantastic. Right? Crunchy, flavorful. And then we go ahead and get this going again. Mm hmm. Right? Mm hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more. Now, now they have it going again, a little bit to the side here. Okay. Right? Just to give it a little bit more punch? A little bit more punch. Okay. So, Olga, so I, I out of the whole bag, I put about five pats of butter in and salt and pepper to get it really super smooth. Okay. And look what we have here. It's gorgeous. Try that. Okay, fantastic. Let me give it a whirl. So it's chicken stock, garlic, onions. Oh my gosh. Water crust. <laughs> Chef, this is right? awesome. Isn't that good? Wow. So simple. All right, you keep eating that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you one more quick dish. So this is using the power of four. So it's this one here, right, Chef? It is. So three of the four. So the red kale, the water grits, and the arugula uh, for nutritional density, they're the top three. Fantastic. So what does that mean for people out there? That means it's delicious it's and del good, good for, for you. you. So salt and pepper on some chicken thigh. Just plain old oil. This is a classic way to do a stir fry, which is you start with the protein. Get it going, then you set it aside, right? So this is gonna take about six or eight minutes all day. <laughs> all right, so this wok is hot, so I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of oil, Absolutely. a little garlic and ginger, scallion whites. These are jalapeno. So here's some chicken stock, mm. all right? This is a vegetarian oyster sauce. So it's oyster sauce made from shiitake mushrooms. We're gonna add our noodles, okay. then we'll add the chicken back. And voila. And we're almost there, all right? Then power four at the very end. So, Open you the can. Bag. Oh yeah, out of the bag. Right there. That's the last thing you're gonna and put you're on. And you're gonna put it. I'm gonna do it two ways. I'm gonna put just a little bit of bed because I like the crunchiness, okay. the freshness of power four, right? So just a little bit like that, and then the rest will just wilt. We'll let the hot noodles wilt it slowly. All right. So I'll plate this up here. Look yeah. at that fabulous dish. Por favor. Oh yeah, my gosh, I'm, this is going to be a little bit messy, but whatever. Let's it's go. okay. 
fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come back again. Anytime. All right, and for more information on any of this, you go to bwqualitygrowers.com or go to our website, thebalancingapp.com. I'm going to eat some more stuff. I'm going to balance. Mm-hmm.